Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi. I'm a first year medical student here at Trinity College Dublin and welcome to Ovi Med. Alright, there's a bit of construction work going on over here, so I think I'm just gonna be changing places. I'm gonna go near the Campanile. I think that would be better. Anyway, see you there. Alright, so in this video I'm going to be talking to you about a very special project that I was doing in collaboration with the school. If you remember, a few weeks back in one of my previous videos, I told you that I was working on a very exciting project with the school. I'll put a clip of it on the screen right here. Alright, so now Friday evening. I've been studying for the rest of the day after my PBL. Didn't have time to record because I was working on another project, uh, which I'm very excited about. I can't really tell you anything about it now. I can just tell you that it's in collaboration with the school. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm gonna let you know when it's completed. I think it's gonna be in around one month or something like that. So now the project is out. So in fact, I had to make a video in collaboration with the school where I was basically talking about my assessment experience. So one of the goals of this project was to have students share the experiences so that professors can have an idea of how their students feel like about the assessments. So in my case, I did a video about my assessment experience, more specifically essays in medical school. So granted, this video is very centered towards Trinity College Dublin students. However, this can apply to any school that you're at. Now, I know that not all schools have the same resources. For example, one of the main resources that I'm talking about in the video, which you're gonna see in a few seconds, is a website where you can find the past papers for this specific module or course. Now, I know that not all schools have these. I'm very happy that uh, Trini has it because, you know, it's a good resource to be able to practice. It's a good resource to know what, what to expect on the exams, like either see the structure or have examples of question. And more importantly, so you can practice. By practicing, you're gonna be able to see like if there are any gaps in your knowledge, see what you need to focus more on. I think it's just really good in general if you're stressed about the specific assignment and you just wanna have an idea of what to expect. I think it's really good. So other things that you can expect from that video, I'm also gonna be giving out tips on how I prepare and how you could improve maybe your preparation for these essay questions. Now, another tip to reduce your stress is come to the front lawn, take out a chair and just chill, enjoy the sun while it's there, you know? I'm also talking about my experience, like how I was proctored for these exams. I spoke about that in my previous videos if uh, you wanna check them out. Like for example, my experience my first exams in medical school. All right, so enough messing around now. Let me show you the video and I'm gonna talk to you right after. Hi everyone, my name is Ovi and I'm a first year medical student here at Trinity College Dublin. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about my recent assessment experience, more specifically about essays in medical school. All right, so I'm an international student from Quebec, Canada, and I did an undergraduate bachelor's degree in biomedical sciences. And the vast majority of my assessments were under the type of multiple choice questions and sometimes short answer questions. However, I've never had any sort of experience regarding essay questions, whether it was assessments, papers, or exams. So if you're like me and you are feeling a bit lost, unsure where to start or how to organize your essays, well, don't you worry, I've been there. So let me tell you about my experience of writing these essays. So due to the current sanitary situation, all my assessments were done online at home from my computer. So whether it was MCQs, SAQs, or essay questions, and for the assessment period, we had to download this program, which allowed the school to monitor us in order to make sure we were not cheating. And that involved having our screen recorded, audio, as well as video recorded. So I had essay questions as part of my evolution in life course. We had two hours and a half to complete the assessment. And for me, that was plenty enough because I prepared quite a lot for these essay questions. So now you might be wondering, well, Ovi, how did you prepare for these essays? Well, don't you worry, I'll tell you right now. All right, so first and foremost, the single most important resource that I use to prepare for my essays in medical school is Trinity's past paper website. So on that website, you will find all sorts of old papers from all sorts of modules, dating back even to the 90s for some of them. So what I did then, I created a document where I compiled the questions and topics that would come up the most often in these past papers. And then I answered all the questions with lecture slides, reference textbooks, and articles online. So that way I could make sure that my answers were as good as possible. 
Afterwards, I would just practice typing out the answers to a few questions every single day. The way I did that is I first started by learning the outline or the structure of my essay and then out of memory just filled in the different sections. Afterwards, I would compare what I had written to the full complete essay that I wrote a few days prior to that. And by doing this process multiple times, I was able to memorize a handful of essays. This was extremely useful since the day of my exam, I was just able to type out my essay and not worry too much about the organization, the structure, or what I'm going to talk about. Now, of course, the questions are never the same, but the general topics do come back. And by practicing before the exam, you're going to have a good knowledge about the subject and be able to answer to a variety of questions about that topic. So if I could give you any tips on how to prepare for these essay assessments, well, use the past papers, make the most out of them, talk with older year students, ask them about their experience, and most importantly, start well in advance. It takes a lot of time to prepare for these essays, so don't underestimate that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna join me through my journey through medical school, or if you wanna know what it's like to be a medical student here at Trinity College Dublin, I have my own YouTube channel, which I'm gonna link right here and also in the description down below. So good luck on your assessments and see you in the next video. So that was the video that I made. This was the exciting project that I was doing with the school. Now, I actually found on their website, which I'm gonna link in the description down below, the aim and the definition of the project. So it's called the Gateway to Digital Assessment Project. And so the definition is, this gateway aims to enable the development of shared understanding of digital assessment between staff and students using a student as partners approach. Yeah, a bit like what I said in the intro. So close enough. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I'm also gonna link their pages. Uh, they also made a page uh, on my video where you can find uh, the script if you wanna see the tips again. So this is the academic practice page. This right here is the page with the transcript of my video, if you want to see it. This is an introduction about the project, so I'm going to link it in the corner right here. And this is my video that they reposted on their page as well. So I hope that this was helpful for you all. Uh, now I'm currently studying for my exams that I have next week. I have an anatomy lab exam, I have a physiology lab exam. I have to hand in uh, like a reflective diary, which is very long. Uh, what else do I have? I don't know, I might have some sort of essays, then a presentation that I need to prepare, then some self-evaluations for the problem-based learnings, then a self-evaluation or no, an evaluation for some course. Uh, I can't remember which one I'm going to have to do that because I'm focusing on the anatomy and the physiology exam. Uh, then I have to prepare. And then also I have to prepare for leaving. I have to do my luggage because I'm leaving next week coming back to Canada to do my exams. The dates and the times are out, so my exams are gonna be all at noon again, so this is perfect, uh, which means that there are seven in Canada, where I live in Quebec, so I'm probably gonna be waking up at six like I did last year, and then around 6.30, get ready, stay at my computer, and um, you know, just wait for seven to come around to start the exam. So as you would have seen in the video that I linked uh, up there somewhere, uh, my reaction to my first exams, I explained pretty much how it went and how I studied a little bit, I'm going to make more videos uh, when I'm studying actually for the exams about how I study. So let me know if you want to see something specific like for anatomy, physiology, or my essays. I think I'm going to be doing a mix of all three uh, in the upcoming weeks. Maybe you can guarantee anything. I'm probably going to be making a vlog about um, coming back because I will have to stay in a hotel until I get a negative PCR test. Anyways, I'm just rambling on now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave them down in comments down below. Uh, I invite you to go ahead and look at the websites that I linked down in the description for uh, the Trinity's website and the project. If you wanna have a look also at the other students' experiences that they have um, for different forms of assessments like presentations and other stuff, it's really interesting. And also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at ov.men, so please go ahead and do so and see you in the next video.